Now that we've installed the TAMS onto the Lambda 1050, let's go ahead and set up an automated reflectance measurement for a series of angles to show you how to set up the WinLab software and the associated TAMS control software. In the software, I'm going to run uh, reflectance measurements between 700 and 400 nanometers, just as an example. So I'm now running the correction file, and I'm going to open the lid while I'm doing that, even though technically that should not be done. This is where we run, this is the configuration. The sample stage is at zero, and the detector is at 180 degrees. That's the, uh, the position to measure the weight, uh, correction file before running a sample. So naturally, that, we sh that will be seen in the data, but this is purely for, it, for example purposes. While the correction is running for that short wavelength range, let, let's look at the TAMS software. The TAM software is currently set up to run three different angles. And these will, be run, these will run in an automated fashion uh, in, in a consecutive manner as we go from one angle to the other. The instrument will scan at each successive angle. So in this case, we're running reflectance measurements at 8 degrees, 30 degrees, and 45 degrees, which is a very, very common angles for reflectance measurements. Thus, in WinLab, the sample table must reflect the same number of steps. We have three. They must match for the software to work seamlessly. In addition to that, we should make sure there are some other settings are set correctly. Scans per measurement, in this case, is set to one. That is to say we are not measuring polarization measurements for S and P orientations. That would double it to six measurements. In this case, it's simply one. Furthermore, we should make sure that the COM port is set correctly so the communication can be done. And for some of the newer uh, TAMS controllers, we need to make sure that the 2018 controller option is turned on. On the older versions, that should be turned off. So we've now run a correction. I can now begin to run the TAMS software. Press start. The WinLab software is waiting for me to say go. So before I can do that, I need to insert the sample. There are two locations where the sample can be inserted. On top, here, or we can actually move the sample stage up and place the sample between the two jaws. In fact, this is a more robust location for samples, so, so we can remove any, any dip or any, any skew in the sample. But for our purposes, we're going to, again, simply place the sample here. At this point, WinLab is still waiting for me to say go. The TAM software is now ready. It's now active. I can now minimize that, press OK, and now we are performing a scan, yes, with the, the correction file being corrupted by my opening the lid, that's OK. <coughs> and then I'm going to open the lid again to show you what happens as we end the first scan You'll notice in the software that basically WinLab stops working and kicks over communication to the TAMS control software. <clears throat> We're now moving to the second location in the sample table as defined in the TAM software, not in the WinLab software. The second scan begins and then the third will also occur automatically. As you can imagine, we can do dozens and dozens and in fact hundreds of samples in this way automatically. Thus, running this over a weekend is perfectly acceptable. You would come back on the Monday and your data is ready.